be seated. I crave your leave and permission in the interest of time to adopt the protocol so ably led before me, save to make an insertion and to add for special recognition the young 12-year-old student who produced the theme for our national anthem, could we give Miss Destiny Morris a special round of applause. And of course, I thank all our citizens, well-wishers, representatives of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps for coming out today at this special occasion when we participate in events commemorating our 37th anniversary of independence. Fellow citizens and residents of our beloved St. Kitts and Nevis, it is with an enduring sense of honor and duty that I address you as Prime Minister, but equally with an overwhelming sense of pride as a citizen of this great land of beauty, a country where peace abounds. In three days, we will join together as our nation celebrates 37 years as an independent country. It is therefore indeed fitting that we today celebrate National Heroes Day. I say this because it is on the strength of will and love of these and our unsung heroes that we not only achieve that most sacred right of self-determination, but have built our land of St. Kitts and Nevis into the shining example of prosperity, freedom, and democracy that we enjoy today. We celebrate today a day set aside to commemorate the noble, patriotic and selfless contributions of our great forebears. We celebrate them with a deep and reverent honor, sober in the knowledge and conscious comprehension that without their strength and resilience, their ingenuity and sacrifices, individually and collectively, there would be no we today, children, standing free. Having been established by an act of parliament in 1996, the National Honors, the National Honors Act honors individuals recognized to have made the greatest contribution to our country's advancement. Since its enactment in 1996, which made the late Robert Llewellyn Bratcher our country's first national hero, our country has bestowed the title of national hero and four other persons. Our five national heroes are listed in chronological order. The right excellent Sir Robert Llewellyn Bratcher, first premier of St. Kitts and Nevis, who was acclaimed on the first National Heroes Day on the 16th of September, 1998, two years after being named posthumously as our first national hero. In 2004, former Premier and Chief Minister, the Right Excellence So Cable Azariah Paul Southwell, and former Minister of Social Service and Trade Unionists, the Right Excellence Sir Joseph Nathaniel France were awarded the honor. In 2013, the first Premier of Nevis, the Right Excellent Sir Dr. Simeon Daniel, joined the Pantheon of National Heroes. All these awards were bestowed posthumously on these four heroes. In 2015, the Right Excellent and the Right Honorable Dr. Sir Kennedy Alphonse Simmons, the first Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, became the first living person to receive 
this significant honor. As Prime Minister and Chair of the Cabinet, I was delighted to have had the opportunity to bestow upon Sir Kennedy this superlative honor while Sir Kennedy is still alive to experience the love, adoration, and appreciation of our people for his years of service. I am proud too that this sacred site was inaugurated as National Heroes Park, hosting the statutes of all our national heroes. It is not to say that no one else has contributed to the tremendous achievements we have made as a relatively young nation. However, these five have been exalted above the rest of the citizenry because of their extraordinary contributions and sacrifices for the advancement of the cause of an independent Sinkit and Nevis. Lifted on the shoulders of those who would have worked with them and for them, we have attempted to immortalize them at National Heroes Park, which we commissioned in 2017. The hope is that we have expressed in a tangible way the great respect and honor abiding in our hearts. Great they were and are to have so solidly laid the foundations of an emerging and subsequently new nation in a political hostile and tumultuous world. What made them so different, you may ask, that they would have done so much yesterday to be so revered by us today. Surprisingly, at the base of it all, one can say nothing. We are all born of the same stock, resilient citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis. These two islands bound together with a common destiny. Born as they were, patriots with an abiding love of country, ever seeking to improve and advance ourselves as a people. Born with the opportunities to serve the needs of this blessed nation in varied capacities. Born as they were, in a time when St. Kitts and Nevis needed citizens as it still does, to rise and build that springboard for the next generation. But they have done it. They have nurtured, grown, and exhibited that abiding love of country. They have seized the opportunities to serve St. Kitts and Nevis. They have built that springboard on which we today must capitalize and improve for our continued advancement. Daunting as it was, they persevered and they achieved. What makes them different from us, you may ask again. And this time I must respond, everything, everything, because they have done that which they had been called to do. And that makes all the difference. It is on us now, my fellow citizens and residents, to try, and in the words of the young people, level up. It befalls us now to raise up the next generation of heroes, even as we reflect inwards, contemplating whether we will provide them as good an example. Those of us in the late summer and fall of our lives are the bridge between that great generation and the one that will succeed us. We have the example and inspiration of our forebears, coupled with the cause of and duty to our successors. We are indeed well armed to succeed, and succeed we shall by the grace of God. And if we hold true to our creed, and that stalwart stands for justice and liberty, with the wisdom of our elders and the truth of our shared experience. If we serve our country, 
in the vein of the example so ably set before us, then surely we will achieve the advancement we seek and our successors will in turn one day honor our contribution. It is my hope that when the history of this period is written, it will also catalog the diligent work and the sacrifices made on individual, personal, party, and national levels that have brought my beloved St. Kitts and Nevis the best inter-island relationship in our history thus far. This outstanding, yes, you can give a round of applause, this outstanding relationship between St. Kitts and Nevis, in my view, must never be a relationship monetized in dollars and cents, but a sense of shared history, ancestry, hope for a stronger and safer future, resilient family ties, and a belief in the power of unity. I have a message for the young people and to our young people who are in the spring of your lives. I say to you that a hero lies in you. It is your destiny as a citizen of this great land of St. Kitts and Nevis. But I must also alert you that the hero will not emerge by osmosis. It must be nurtured. Nurtured with the values and traditions that we Kittishans and Nivisians hold there. Self-discipline and industry, respect for our elders, drive for improvement and advancement, service to others, embracing our shared responsibilities, setting our dreams and aspirations as high as we choose, and taking the first steps towards achieving them. You, my young people, in this modern world, can achieve anything with the strength of your will and the love of a nation behind you. There are some of you who will doubt what you can achieve because of the present economic and social circumstances. Hurtful as the economic and health crises are now, we can all be assured they too will pass. Let us not allow temporary circumstances to diminish, diminish our dreams, even as your government tries to alleviate as best it can any and all the hardships being felt by our citizens and residents. Examples abound where others have lifted themselves out of poverty by their sheer determination and a little assistance from others. I myself can testify to that, for I was born into poverty, one of some 33 children, sighed by my father of Nivision descent. I worked hard and studied harder in school, did all that was in my power to do for my advancement, and that which I could not do, by the grace of God, fell in place. And today I am fortunate enough to be addressing you as Prime Minister of this proud and blessed country. My heroes helped me, so I in turn may be a hero to someone. I pledge, I pledge I shall use every waking moment to advance the cause and the welfare of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. With God's grace, working together, we shall make St. Kitts and Nevis a better place, nay, the best place. It is still true that the greatest gift we can give to our young people is the gift of education. And next in line is the gift of opportunity the opportunity to be, the opportunity to become, the opportunity to learn, and the opportunity to do. Our new Ministry of Entertainment, Talent Development, 
and entrepreneurship shall be a legacy ministry. We will look back in time to realize how much good would have come to our young people from the work of this ministry. The opportunities for self-actualization, income generation, and fame would have been magnified to the formation and work of this ministry. Being heroic is not the absence of doubt or fear. It is finding in the presence of such the faith and courage to do what is needed and ultimately that which is right. We cannot and indeed we will not all be named national heroes. But any of you can be, though it currently holds that all five of our national heroes are politicians, more power to them. It is not the defining criteria. One can be awarded for achievement and service to country in whatever field one's talents and passion lie. It can be in the field of science or sport, military or music, education or economics, internal or international. Whatever you love, please, my young people, resolve to be the best you can, and you will set yourself apart. But to do so, you must begin the journey today. There is tremendous talent and drive being exhibited by our nation's youth, from music to robotics, from sports to academics. Our St. Kitts and Nevis is on the verge of an impressive explosion that will rock the region and the world. We have some of the most enterprising and creative young people in the world. Let's give them a round of applause. I carry joy in my heart at the performance of our young people in the United Arab Emirates at the first Global Robotics Olympics, where they shone brightly on behalf of all of us. Let's give a round of applause to their team leader, Dr. Ricardo Neal. And it shows again the interesting work that is being done at our ICT center. And I want to commend our Attorney General who took a liking and fascination to it and have laid a groundwork and which Akil and Isbeth will build upon. Give them to a round of applause. Equally, I was very pleased at the performance at the International Special Olympic Games put on by our own differently abled citizens. I want in this regard for us to commend teacher Clarice Cotton for her work in this particular area. While our national heroes rightly serve as an inspiration in some ways to all of us, the achievement of such a status must never become the goal. Heroism, by definition, is always selfless, rooted in service, protection, or assistance to others. A self-centered pursuit will prove self-defeating and will leave you impatient of your rate of success, arrogant with your own achievement, and disdainful of others who are seemingly on par or getting ahead. Instead, focus on being someone's hero. For the single mother trying to adequately provide for her children, can you help her and her children? I want you to say, yes, you can, because a hero lies in you. For the troubled teen in need of a mentor, can you volunteer? I want you to answer, yes, you can, because a hero lies in you. For the shut-in who is lonely and needs someone to talk to even once a week, can you spare the time to care, to share, and to hear, yes you can, because a hero lies in you. 
for the community team that could use some coaching help. Can you help? Yes, you can, for a hero lies in you. For the depressed co-worker, colleague or neighbor in need of some encouragement or a listening ear and a shoulder, can you reach out in a sensitive way? Someone out there can answer, yes, I can, because a hero lies in me. For our family, the wife, the husband, the child, or children, who just need a bit more of our time, can you spare a moment, Stanley Franks? Yes, I hear you now say, yes, you can, because a hero lies in you. For our pastors, the guidance counselors, the bankers, our police officers, and all who took on the risky task of conceptualizing and implementing the alternative pathway program for our at-risk youths, you are the heroes and heroines for many of them. You gave them hope. You gave them an opportunity to be and to experience the revelation that a life of crime and violence is never worth it at all. That life somehow always ends up too brutal and too short, too much of a suffering and too much of a wailing by the families brutally cut off. So on behalf of all the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, who as a result of your efforts and the other initiatives of the government are now experiencing a new season of calm and quiet in our land. I say thank you to the young people for reforming their lives. Let's give them a round of applause of encouragement. That is the necessary focus. Self-improvement, service to others, and service to country. Service to humanity, I am advised, is service to God, and service to God will prosper all of us. I turn now, finally, to the issue of our National Honors Awardees, and I want you to acknowledge each and all of them whose meritorious work had le has led them being recognized for the following awards in accordance with the Honors Act, which I made reference to. I want us to recognize Dr. Bernal Nisbet, who all of us going up called the Animal Doctor. He has been awarded the Companion of the Star of Merit. I want you to recognize teacher Miss Viola Jacobs for a Companion of Star of Merit. We want to recognize Archdeacon J. Rudolph Smitten for religious service, for which he has been accorded the Companion of the Star of Merit. I want us to recognize teacher Shirley Gloria Estelle Brown for her service in education, which earned her the Companion of the Star of Merit. I must ask you to give special recognition to one outstanding lady who has blessed us and helped us at the time of COVID-19 pandemic, which is still with us, Dr. Hazel Orita Laws for national service at the time of crisis, for which she has been accorded a star of merit. And usually at the NEOC briefing, when we see Dr. Laws, we will see somewhere close by Dr. Cameron Wilkerson. He too has been accorded the Companion of the Star of Merit for national service in a crisis. We add to that list Mr. Abdia Samuel, national service in a crisis, Companion of the Star of Merit. The next batch of honorees has been accorded the Medal of Honor for their service. I want us to record our appreciation to Patricia Mary Nurse Clark for community service. I want us to recognize Mrs. Perlene Musenden 
for her role in education. Joseph Benders, the categories arts for which he has earned the Medal of Honor. Dr. A. Linton Leibard, his contribution to medicine. Miss Pamela Brooks, a good friend of Mary Simmons, Lady Mary Simmons, for her contribution in nursing. Mr. Charles McMaster, for contribution in community service. Mr. Brian Dyer, for national service in a crisis. And Dr. Judy Nisbet. <coughs> Sorry. She has also been accorded a Medal of Honor for national service in a crisis. We thank all of these people for the outstanding contribution, meritorious it has been, in our task of nation building. In closing, let us recommit ourselves this National Heroes Day to that oneness of purpose. If we are all resolved to engage the hero in us, each of us lifting a little, we can move mountains, working together in earnest and in unity. We can usher in unprecedented growth and advancement for all the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. With these successes, may, with these successes, may it be that when the next generation is honoring the best of us, the rest of us should smile, content in the part that we would have played in the successes of our great nation. So I wish all happy National Heroes Day. May God bless you, and may he, in his infinite wisdom, continue to bless this country of St. Kitts and Nevis. We still wish that when our young people look whether east or west, north or south, they will conclude of all the lands, of all the lands be the east or west, they love their native land of St. Kitts and Nevis the best. So let us remain focused in developing St. Kitts and Nevis of the best managed small island states in the world. God bless you. I thank you for the opportunity to serve. Bless you.